Hey, here we are in Eatonville, Florida. My name is Lawrence Blinky Walden. We're at the Zora Neale Hurston Festival of Arts and Humanities. And everybody out here is having a good time. Matter of fact, once upon a time, there was a television a sitcom entitled Good Time. And one of the stars of that show was a young lady by the name of Bernadette Stannis who played Thelma. And we're very fortunate to have Miss Stannis here at the Zora Neale Hurston Festival of the Arts and Humanities here in Eatonville, Florida. And uh, she's here selling her book, uh, having pictures taken with a backdrop that depicts some of the characters that were in Good Times. And uh, once again, we really want to thank Miss Bernadette Stannis for taking time out of her busy schedule to come here to Eatonville, Florida to be a part of this festive event entitled the Zora Neale Hurston Festival of the Arts and Humanities. Fabulous. What's up, everybody? I'm JC, and welcome back to the Zora Neale Festival 2016. Look who I have here, Miss Bernadette Stenson. Right? Okay. Is that right? No, Stannis. Stannis. I'm sorry. Everybody, who just for years and years and years been calling her Thelma. You yeah. Know who this is? Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, it's just wonderful to see you. Uh, I saw you at the Essence Festival, you had a big crowd. Yeah. Like you always draw a big crowd. Um, let me get the crazy questions out of the way. Um, you, you stay in contact with Janet? Yeah, all, everyone. Yeah. I stay, yeah. And you hang out, you stay out with them, Michael Jackson and everything? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's one question a lot of people always ask. Well, that, that's good. Um, They're okay. beautiful people. Yeah, you have fun making the show? I did. I loved it. I was such a kid, you know. I was just so happy to be around doing television, you know. Um, uh, did you know that this show would reach so many generations? Like, I can sit down with my mom, I can sit down with the kids, and all of us can enjoy the show, and, and it's still relevant. You know, I never, I never imagined it. Never. It was just television shows that was a replacement show. You know, it was just a show they just put put on the air. Um, but because we had a wonderful leader, um, Esther Roll, who understood what it meant to be in that position, she made sure that the writers, the actors, everybody had the dignity to to carry a show like that. All right. That's good. I just saw um, Jimmy J.J. Walker at the comedy show about last year sometime. It looks like everybody's still looking good. I get that how say I'm about to turn 45 Tuesday. How do you keep yourself looking so beautiful? You look just like Thelma from the TV show. Well, I appreciate that. I really do. You know, and I, 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 I pray a lot. I thank God for everything that he's ever given me, even before good times. He gave me two great parents and siblings. So, you know, I thank God for all of my blessings, and he gave me a lot of talent, and um, I, I, I just thank him for it, and, and, and I don't forget. Um, I take care of myself, be, try, try to anyway. If something doesn't feel right in my body, then I, I listen to my body, and then I'll change it. Okay, that's about the grace of God. Well, speaking of your parents, um, you wrote a book about your mom? I did. Talk about your book? Yeah. Now, this is my latest book. It's called The Last Night. A Caregiver's Journey Through Transition and Beyond. And this book is very, very dear to my heart because it talks about my whole life. If you really want to know me, you need to read this book. It talks about my childhood, it talks about my grandparents, it talks about growing up, the lessons I've learned, Hollywood, um, what it meant, uh, being grounded in Hollywood. Also, um, as your parents get older, watching them get older and understanding what you're looking at. And so, um, with my mom and my dad, I had to face some things, and that's put in this book. And um, I want an answer to this horrible disease called Alzheimer's that is twice as much in our community as in any community. And I want to know where it comes from. Is it really stress? Is it um, what we're doing, what we're eating, what we're not doing? Um, there is an answer, and I hope to God that he gives it to me one day. 
anybody. Give it, give it to anybody. Just get the answer. Amen, amen. Hey, the prayer's there. God can do it. Uh, again, thank you for your time. But look, catch you in this the program. Look who's on the same page with her. I'm famous now. <laughs> Okay, again, yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank God for and me. guess what? You have my favorite color on. Oh, see? I love I knew, turquoise. See, I was trying color. to decide which, which jacket to put on. I picked this one. That's right. <laughs> All right, thanks Thank again. You. Thank you.